Hey guys, your boy Jack here. Back from the video. And today, if y'all cannot tell from the title of the video, we are here with some crazy story times from work. So, with that being said, let's get started with today's video. So, in today's video, we have three main stories. Whether they are crazy stories or just me encountering a Karen, I'm going to be telling you guys some of my story times that have happened to me while I was at work. Now, I am 22 years old. I have worked since I was 16. So, that's about like six years of me working. And I've worked a couple of jobs and I have encountered a lot of many different types of people but for today's video's purpose I'm only gonna be talking about some stories that only have happened to me within maybe this past year because I don't want to dig too much deep into the vault but let me know down below if you guys want to hear more crazy stuff that has happened to me at work and the main reason why I am making this video is because one of the stories, the first story that I'm actually going to tell you happened today on December 12th, 2023. This happened today, earlier today when I was at work. So I was just like, you know what? This isn't the first time that a crazy story has happened to me. And honestly, the two stories that I'm telling from today's video has happened to me within months, the past maybe week or two. So yeah, a lot of stuff has been happening at work lately. Hopefully I stay safe. But with that said though, enough of me rambling. Let's get started with today's video. So basically, to start things off, basically I was called Chinese at work. Actually, two things happened today at work. One wasn't that bad, so I'm gonna start off with that one. The second one was a little worse, but I mean, I guess. I don't know, I'm just gonna talk about both, really. So yeah, I get a two for one. And for context clues, I do work in retail, so that's just a little bit of context. So with that said though, the first thing that happened to me at work was basically I was walking towards the fitting room and this older lady, this older l lady, I don't know how to say it nicely because I know people be like older gentlemen, um, but I guess this older woman, right, basically she was speaking to me in Korean assuming that I understood and spoke Korean. Me, I do not speak Korean. I'm not even Korean. You know what I'm saying? I am half Malaysian Taiwanese. So... When she was speaking to me in Korean, I didn't even know she was talking to me because I thought she had like an AirPod in and I thought she was talking to someone on the phone, but she was talking to me and I had to tell her like, oh, I'm not Korean. Like, you know, it's not a bad story or anything. It's just like, she really assumed that I was Korean. I'm not Korean. Do I look Korean? I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what happened today. The second one kind of got to me a little bit. So basically, I was at the register, right, cashing someone out, or they were trying to do a return, right? And basically, there was a little bit of confusion because on the receipt, the item that they were trying to return was not there. And they were trying to explain the person that checked them out. And basically, as they were describing him, they were saying um, he had tattoos and he looked like me, accentuating that they were Asian. And I got that context clue, right? That wasn't the worst part. The worst part was when he assumed that I was Chinese. This man basically said, yeah, he was Chinese like you. And looked me dead in my eye and like pointed at me. And that's when I was like, the fuck? And, you know, I'm at work. You know what I'm saying? I need the work. I need my 9 to 5. You know what I'm saying? Um, because, you know, I need money. I got bills to pay. YouTube ain't paying the bill yet. So... I didn't lash out, and plus, I was just in so shock of that the situation happened. He was like a Chinese man that like looked at me, and I knew that was a fucking lie because I'm the only Asian that works at my store. So it was just like, bro, you just disrespect me. But I'm, I'm be like, I'm lucky. I'm, I, you're, you're like, you're mad lucky that I was like in a good mood, bro. But like, yeah, that kind of that kind of blew me. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, he was like, yeah, Chinese man that like look like you, bro. I was just like, that's wild, that's wild, and like, like, it really just caught me off guard, because I was not expecting him to say, like, yeah, he was a Chinese man like you, um, and I'm not gonna expose them or none, just know it was a male and a female, I'm not gonna say the race, um, but, yeah, it's crazy. But moving on to the next story, right, so this happened about maybe last week, right, and last week, um, basically what happened was our fitting rooms were closed because we were understaffed, you know what I'm saying? So we couldn't let anyone into the fitting room. And I saw my store manager, right, talking to this one lady, this one lady, I'm not going to say her race as well, but it was a lady and her daughter, right? And basically, 
I thought he handled the situation because, you know, he's the store manager and he told her that the things were closed and we can't do nothing about it, right? Me, at the time, I was just running the clothes, running my rack, you know what I'm saying, doing what I was supposed to do, right? And I have no clue why she had to or wanted to stop me for some reason, but she stopped me, right? She purposely stopped me, me, all right? I don't know why, right? Maybe, I guess, I look like a store manager or I look approachable or she just wanted to go off on me for some reason, but... Yeah, she went off on me. She was like, this is unacceptable. Every time I come here, you guys are always closed. How am I supposed to buy clothes for my daughter? That's unacceptable. I'm about to call corporate. You guys are done. Y'all losing money. And, and people keep stealing from your store. Every time I come here, I see tags of, from your store in the parking lot, the fucking, in the pockets. Y'all suck. And I was just like, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Um, you can purchase your clothes, try them on a different store, and bring them back instead of taking them out of your home. Um, but she just kept going off and off and off. Right, and all I could sit there was just take it because, like, I was just in shock. Like, I was just like, "Why are you coming at me, bro? You just talked to the store manager." You know what I'm saying? So, like, you coming to talk to me? I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm just gonna say what he said. He said the film closed. The film will close. What can I do? You know what I'm saying? So basically, like, she went off on me, and I just said sorry for the inconvenience and walked away. And then she went back to the kids section, and then I told my store manager, right? And he went and go talk to it, and he was like, <clears throat> "Sorry, but maybe I didn't introduce myself correctly." I'm so-and-so's name, and I'm the store manager. So he put his foot down. So shout out to my boy, man, my store manager, bro. That, that, man, that's all love right there because, like, man, I'm, that touched my heart because, like, man, it made me want to fight for him, bro. Like, he got my back, so I got his back. And then when I told my other manager, he was basically like, oh, where's she at? Like, like, he was ready, bro. He was ready. But I told him the store manager handled it. So it just felt nice to know that I have managers that got my back. So they got my back, so I got their back. But, yeah. It was very, very interesting because, you know, man, them Karens, bro, they'd be wild. Another story, this might be a four story, maybe even five at this point, but another story that happened to me while I was at work. It didn't happen to me, but it happened to my story manager. And basically what happened was that another Karen went off on him because basically this is the story that I was told. Uh, I was there that day. I just didn't hear what was there because I was like kind of far away from the register. But basically what happened was that she was complaining about the fitting room being closed. And mind you, we closed the fitting room two hours before we closed just so we can get everything ready and closed and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I feel like most retails close either an hour or two hours before they close the fitting room and stuff like that. So basically, she was just mad the fitting room was closed. And her daughter was saying like, oh, you're being like a Karen. So then she thought that the store manager called her a Karen. And then, so she went off. She was just going crazy. She started talking to my other coworkers, and he was just like, oh, I don't know what's going on. And basically, she just left the story. Like, she was just mad as fuck for no reason. She was acting a like Karen, and from what I was told, she was drunk. Uh, but yeah, she just got mad because she was called a Karen by her own daughter, and she made a scene, and it was just bad. But yeah, honestly, a lot of these story times, just they just be complaining about all these things, to be honest. Like, when I work, they be mad that our fitting room be closed. But they don't understand that we're, like, one, understaffed, or, like, two, y'all be coming mad late. So why would they purposely leave the fitting room open for you? Because it's also, it's like, if we open up the fitting room for you, we got to open it up for everyone else. So respectfully, I'm going to have to deal with a bad customer. You know what I'm saying? Some of these customers just be mad for no reason, or they just be wanting trouble. Like, I understand at the end of the day, customers are always right to a certain extent. But, like, sometimes, bro... At the end of the day, H and M, and it's just like sometimes, bro. At like the end of the day, is it really that deep? Is it really that deep to get mad over you and this piece of clothing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Is it really that deep? Like, is it that worth it to make yourself look stupid in front of everyone? You know what I'm saying? You're mad over clothes. You know what I'm saying? You're mad over not being able to try something on. You should know your size. You know what I'm saying? Like, the only thing that you should be worried about is that how it fits, I guess. But it's just like, come on now. And, like, just getting mad at the workers, bro. We just work there. Some of the stuff is just store policy, bro. People be getting mad at us because we can't return without the receipt. Like, that's not our fault. That's store policy. Some of this stuff is just store policy that we can't break the rules. Because if we break the rules for you, we gotta bend the rules for everyone. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like sucks to suck like i don't understand bro a lot of these people i don't know bro 
Like, I don't ever get that mad to the point where, like, I go off someone. I'd be mad. Yeah, I get mad at, like, bad customer service here and there. But I'm just like, oh, I bet. I'm just not going to come back. What be so funny, bro, is when people be like, oh, I'm never coming here and you guys are never having my business again. I don't care. We're building the dollar company, bro. We don't need your business. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, bro, like, make a scene all you want. It's not going to change the difference, bro. There are a lot of other story times. But I might have to bring on some co-workers to tell you guys just because there's so many that like I don't I done forgot. I only remember the main ones that have happened this past like two weeks. All those stories times really happened within this past week, which is crazy because I guess it is because it's the holiday season, but it's just like you would think people would have common sense, you know what I'm saying? Like, why get so mad over fitting room? Why get so mad over like small things, you know what I'm saying? Like there's things out of our control. If we don't have enough people on staff, we're not gonna open up the fitting room. If we're about to close, we're not gonna open the fitting room. Like what? Like come on bro, like people don't make sense. And I know a lot of y'all might be thinking like, oh, isn't it your job to serve the people, this and that? Yeah, it is my job to fold clothes, let y'all try our clothes, this and that. But people can be fucking humans and be decent about things because another thing that pisses me off is that when I be folding my table, right, and people would just be fucking that shit up. I'm not mad that you guys are looking at the clothes. I'm just mad that you would purposely fuck up the whole table. Every single fold that I did, instead of just opening up the first top one and messing that one up, you mess up the whole table and you don't even end up buying it, right? I understand you want to see the product and see if you like the product before you buy it but like the fact that you purposely just fuck up my table and you don't picture the or like another thing where they drop stuff on the floor and you just leave it there like come on bro like common courtesy bro like it's like basically the way my store manager said it right basically you ain't finna go into someone's house and make a scene right so why are you finna go into the store and make a scene if you go to someone's house and they say you can't use the bathroom you're not going to be like, oh, why can't you use the bathroom to make a scene? You can be like, all right, cool. So I just wish people would have more, I guess, humanity. Because the world we live in is sad, bro. It's scary. But one day we will have more humanity, if that's the right word I'm looking for. But yeah, right now, working in retail sucks. But hey, bills got to be paid. But with that said, though, I don't think I have anything else left to say. So let me know down below in the comments or by liking this video. If you guys want to see me talk about more story times about stuff that has happened to me at work or bring on some co-workers and let you guys hear our stories about what has happened at work, not just from the customers, but maybe even co-workers, who knows? Um, but yeah, really just stay tuned and let me know if you guys want to see that. But with all that being said, though, I don't think I have anything else to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, share, and your boy is out.